Ivan Mera gets that defining touch. Game set and match for round last Punjab. That seals the deal. The best player, the best goalkeeper, the best midfielder, the golden boot, the best coach given to our team. It's unparalleled, not because we won, it's the way we won it. The way we ran the program, the way everybody came together, it is like a Cinderella story of how you take a fledgling club, put all the right pieces in place, make them into a small family, and they make a miracle happen. It's a historic moment for the Punjab of uh, 30 million people. The only North India team in ISL, and uh, of course, first time uh, a team get a promotion to ISL from my league. Winning the I League and promoting in the ISL, it's a history for Punjab. And it's not only for the Punjab players, it's a history for all the players. It's a big memory, and I'm so happy. I hope that if you have a ISL, you will be able to get a player in Punjab. I hope that you will be able to get a player in the first club in the ISL. This was our plan, this was our goal. So when you achieve that goal, uh, it's even more sweeter. For the team, it means a lot. I'm so proud to be the captain of this team. I think we have the fantastic group with very good people and uh, we deserve to be the, on the place where we are now. The Round Glass Punjab Football Club is a club that is based out of Mohali, which is a city in Punjab. The whole idea of the club was to be an aspiring club for the best footballers in the country to play for where we do things right. The Roundhouse Punjab FC program and the associated youth program, I would say it's unique. And here's why I think so. Number one, the entire program is focused on the holistic development of the athlete. What does that mean? We bring everything together. Everything from yoga, meditation, the food that you eat, our nutritionists, our chefs, the environment in our, in our residential hostel. So from a holistic development of the athlete to the staff, to the program that we are running, to the way we do scouting, we are ensuring that we can give them the best infrastructure that is possible and then give it a long-term vision. What do we need to do quarter after quarter, year after year, bringing all of these things together? And the future in football is the youngsters. This moment we have uh, three development centers and uh, six grassroots centers uh, in Punjab. We have a detailed grassroots plan for Punjab, which we would like to expand across India by 2025. We have to start at the grassroots level in nurturing and encouraging kids to play sports, not just by their families, but the community they live in. It'll take all of us coming together and encouraging in all small ways. So the kid, the recipient on the other end, saying, my God, there's so much love and encouragement around me how can I not do well? I would like a lot to work with the youngsters boys to help them to improve themselves. And one day when I see them in a national team, in big clubs, with a great career, I want to feel proud that I helped them in their beginning. Our long-term intent is that every kid, when they turn five in that village that is under our program, will be given a gift, and that gift will be a football, boy or girl. I assure you, and I predict, the next junior, Mr. and Miss Messi, Mr. and Miss Ronaldo, Mr. and Miss Mbappe is coming out of the villages of Punjab. And you heard it here first.